we are allowing for that space. Uh, and I think the question answers also, you know, uh, sort of seek to underline all of that, the different opinions and the different spaces that we seem to come from. Uh, I just wanted to mention that a little bit, and then I'm going to hand over to Ravi now again. There is, there is a connection, and that connection is simply this, that uh, poetry is about uh, vulnerabilities, emotions. We're all imperfect, we're all vulnerable, but we all live together. And let poetry uh, does its own thing. Uh, so, uh, just briefly, Sanjay, uh, if you could, uh, you know, just give some tips to what they could and could not do. Uh, I don't know if English poetry, uh, at least with Kanda, will be lend itself. Uh, to the kind of responses that happened, as you said, like, you know, in the Mishra and the but if you could just speak a little bit about that. Uh, thank you, Ravi. And because there is this common culture of Mushaira, which has been used with English poetry, so Mushaira ki apni ek tehzeeb hoti hai, apna ek mizaj hota hai. So, bas mein usko thoda sa nazir saani kar dhoon ga, aap zaruri nahi, to wo mein bata hi raho aapko, but it's not necessary that this fits into that bill. So you can exercise your choice, but I will just tell you that what is the meaning of the message and what is the meaning of the message. So if it can happen, you can see it yourself. And I would like my writer's friend to be more liberal and generous if there is response at a wrong place or something. So in the meaning of the message, there are many things that are read, and there are many things that are read. तो गजल का जो नौयत है वो नज़म से बिल्कुल अलग है गजल में कुछ कपलेट्स होते हैं शेर होते हैं हर शेर के दो मिस्रे होते हैं उसमें जो पहला मिस्रा होता है उसको मिस्रा है कूला बोलते हैं और दूसरा मिस्रा है वो मिस्रा है सानी होता है the name itself explains to you the the nomenclature कि मिस्रा है कूला जो है वो it sets the tone और मिस्रा है सानी जो है व उस टोन को एड्रेस करके उसको कल्बरेट कर देता है, प्राइमेक्स कर देता है उसका। तो इट इस लाइक द मिस्राए उला जो पहला सेंटेंस से कंप्लेट का, वो एक सवाल की तरह भी हो सकता है, वो एक टोन सेट कर सकता है, एक सिचुएशन, इट विल जस्ट अराइज अ सिचुएशन, एंड द सेकंड सेंटेंस रिस्पोंड्स टू दैट। और वो जब सेकंड रिस्पॉन्ड करता है तो उसमें इट इज इम्पेरेटिव फॉर दैट सेकंड सेंटेंस टू हैव सम एलिमेंट ऑफ एपिफेरी इट सेज समथिंग अगर पहला मिसरा आप सुनेंगे तो यू वुड आई मीन बिकॉज ऑफ रन ऑफ द मिल शायरी में कोई नई बात नहीं की जाती पर हर बात जो है उन्हें अंदाज से की जाती है तो पहले सेंटेंस को एड्रेस करता हुआ जो दूसरा सेंटेंस है वो इस तरह से कहना पड़ेगा इस अंदाज से कि उसमें कोई रेवल्यूशन उसमें कोई एलिमेंट ऑफ एपिफेरी हो और वो एक फिर आई कैन विद ड्यू पॉलिसीज कॉल इट पोइटिक और क्या है तो फिर वो बाह की आवाज आती है वाह वाह निकलता है क्या बात निकल क्या बात है इस तरह की हम दांत देते हैं इसमें और ये भी जरूरी होता है कि जो पहला मिस्रा है कई बार बिकॉज़ इट्स ए बिल्डर द फर्स्� वो हम उसे कहते हैं कि मिस्रा उठाइए। So even if poet is not repeating it, तो audience उसको repeat करती है। तो उनकी तरफ से वो बोला जाता है। तो they build up। पहला मिस्रा जो है sentence, it is spoken two or three times to create that build up, and finally, as a response to that build up, you have that moment of epiphany in the second sentence। तो ये गजल का अपना एक मिजाज है। तो उसमें गजल में जितने भी couplets हैं, they could follow the same thing। but each couplet है उसका अपना अपनी एक nature हो सकती है it doesn't have to necessarily relate to the next couplet वो जरूरी नहीं है हर गजल के हर couplet जो हैं पांच सात या नौ वो independent normally it's an odd numbers गजल के जितने couplet होते हैं और वो जरूरी नहीं है कि वो एक दूसरे से relate करें जरूरी बस ये है कि उसका जो काफिया है वो मिलना चाहिए rhyming होनी चाहिए और रिदीप होती है उसकी detail में नहीं जाते rhyming होना च उसमें फर्स्ट शेयर में हमेशा दोनों जो सेंटेंसेस हैं वो राइमिंग होने चाहिए नेक्स्ट कपलेट्स में आपका पहला सेंटेंस राइमिंग की जरूरत नहीं है दूसरा सेंटेंस जो पहले दो सेंटेंसेस में जो राइम सेट किया है पहले शेयर में वो उसको फॉर्म करता है तो ये गजल का मिजाज है तो उसमें क्या होता है कि हर कपलेट जो है वो अपने आप में कम्प्लीट होता है इट इज़ ए कम्प्लीट थिंग इन इट 
सो यू कुड आफ्टर कपलेट गेट्स कंप्लीटेड एंड देन यू कैन गिव दैट और आप वाह वाह कर सकते हैं और क्या बातें कर सकते हैं मुकर्र कर सकते हैं और बहुत अच्छा लगा अभी दोबारा सुना नज़म का मिजाज थोड़ा अलग होता है विच आई फील इज मोर एक अकेन टू इंग्लिश पोइट्री नज़म में ऐसा कोई कायदा नहीं होता है कि जिसमें ये इट हैज़ बी सेट इन दिस फिक्स्ड और वेरी रिजिड फ्रेमवर्क तो वो ओपन नज़म भी हो सकती है नज़म में राइन भी हो सकता है लेकिन वो कई इस तरह के इतना स्ट्रिक्ट फॉलो नहीं करती है रिजी जो गज़ल की तो नज़म को जो है वो आप सांस रोक के सुनते हैं आप उसके बीच में बिकॉज इट हैज़ ए थीमेटिक कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटी सो यू डोंट डिस्टर्ब आप उसको खामोशी से जज करते हैं और बिल्कुल एंड में आके देन यू रिस्पॉन्ड टू इट और यू कैन क्लैप ऑन इट और वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डू तो नज़म का मिजाज इस तरह गज़ल से अलग है अब आई डोंट नो हाउ आर राइटर फ्रेंड्स वो एक फ्रेंड्स आर गोइंग टू क्यों का राइमिंग कम्प्लेक्स में है ओपन में है तो अगर वो नज़म का मिजाज है तो आप आराम से सुनिए सांस रोक के लंबी नज़म है तो बीच में सांस ले भी लीजिएगा वो तो अगर राइमिंग कम्प्लेक्स है तो आप मतलब हम बावा करते हैं आप बाओ बाओ कर सकते हैं और अंग्रेजी में बट इट इज़ अप टू योर सेंसिबिलिटीज बिकॉज इट इज कम्प्लीटली बीन डांस फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इट इज़ अ न्यू जॉनरे एंड यू डिसाइड If you want to do it, and I would only request my poet phone friends to be generous about it. लेकिन अगर नस में वो तो फिर आप आराम से सुनिए फिर बीच में डिस्टर्ब नहीं कीजिए. So I think that's right. So I I my guess is that नस में ही होगी. जी सारी जी गजल तो मुझे तो आई डोंट नो. So let's what we will do is we'll start from here with Maman Gai, um, who is. Uh, Poet and a novelist. Um, I don't know if your first book was your first book of poems or was it your first book of poems? So her first book was book of poems. Uh, the one that I have read uh, is River Poems as a as a collection. I have read uh, po poems from other collections, but, but River Poems is one that I have read uh, from cover to cover, as I say. Um, I have worked with Mavan for uh, I think about. 17, 18 years now, um, and uh, most recently, at speaking time, we published a, a, a book of linked stories called Legends of Pensa. Uh, this was back in 2005, uh, six or seven, six, uh, and uh, after that, Stupid Cupid, which um, Shiny uh, started reading some years ago and hasn't forgotten it. She has been looking for the book since. It isn't printed. You find it. I looked it up on Amazon, uh, and most recently here, and, and when I was at Alif, uh, her novel Black Hill, which won the Sahitya uh, Academy Award, and most recently uh, we released *It's Been a Day*, her novel *Escaping the Land*, a vast epic novel about the Nepal days and about uh, the making of Arunachal Pradesh, uh, and also its contemporary politics and history. Uh, but she's here as a poet today. Um, so, Mama, over to you. I so you know we can we don't need to exhaust all the poems that we have in mind. So I'd say you know you can read two or three if you feel that they're long ones. Maybe you can read two and then we we'll come back later. But I see the short ones. The short ones you can read. No, no, it's a it's just a random selection. Good evening, everyone. Yes, Shama. Yeah. Oh, these are also the ingredients of Mushaira. No, you don't have to do anything. This means that you now start. <laughs> Very respectful thinking about remembrance and you know poetry, what it means. So I think all poetry has its kind of music and meaning, and the ways we express them may be different. So I'll just read a little short poem. This is what I love writing, you know, remembrance. How sad it is. Remembrance, the warm sweat. Of, if you're going to stare at me, that's not going to be the remembrance. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. How sad it is. Remembrance, the warm sweat of the seasons, the narrow boats of grief, a white moon, my dream of a songbird, a songbird in the garden. The river. Do not stay too long by the river. 
The river is a wayward god. It is an elephant, a lion. Sometimes they call it horse. One summer we thought it was a peacock turning in the yellow dust that filled our eyes with gold. I saw a woman floating in a lily pond in a mountain of mist wrapped in a cloud streaming with tendrils and pollen dust. I thought, the river is a woman, a country, a name, a note of music trapped in the white current, a sheet of paper carrying a secret map. The skyline is where it begins, between the darkness and the summit, in the birthplace of thirst. Do not stay too long by the river. It is a drowning spirit, a strong-armed God, drawing and withdrawing such seasons, flowing river, standing still, river sea, river ocean, river of all our summers, collecting the salt of our lives. These are all from River Poems published and one is from Midsummer Survival Lyrics. This one I'm going to read now. They are talking about hunger. They are saying there is an unquenchable fire burning in our hearts. My love, what shall I do? I am thinking how I may lose you to war and big issues more important than me. Life is so hard like this, nobody knows why. It is like fire, it is like rainwater, sand, glass. What will I do, my love, if my reflection disappears? They are talking about a place where rice flows on the streets, about a place where there is gold in the leaves of trees. They are talking about displacement when the opium poppy was growing, dizzy in the sun, happy in a state of believing. And they are talking about escape, about liberty, men and guns. Ah, oh, the urgency for survival. But what will they do, not knowing the sorrow of women? Shiny again, I mean, I know of you as a novelist and a short story writer too. Uh, but the book that uh, we published, uh, Shiny's, which was about uh, roughly four years ago, three years ago, The Girl Who Couldn't Love, which uh, is, out, uh, is out there. Uh, and it's, it's, it's a very powerful, intense book, um, and I hope some of you will uh, be able to pick it up and read it. Uh, Shani, I haven't read your poems, but then as you said, you know, uh, you don't have the bunch of poems which, you, which you've written. So she uh, says that she describes her uh, verse, if you can call it that, as the spoken word. The spoken word. And uh, she shared some of that uh, with me last night, which I read this morning. I thought that was quite very powerful, intense, and strong. So over to you, Shani. So maybe pass the Shabbat to. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. I have to pass it. Once upon a time, there was no time, no once. Just he and me, a good man, a bad woman. Naked and curious, just dying to know. But before that was a snake and a fruit. Apple, I think. Do you hear till now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Eve. The world's first woman, fresh off the boat, chromosome XX. And Adam, too busy tracking water, rubbing stones for fire. 
no TV, no Wi-Fi. We get bored. I miss a period. And then I died. I became a ghost. A female ghost. The world's first female ghost. Breasts, smoke rings, uterus, water vapor. I was just hanging around and I saw a man bash a woman with her own baby. I moved close, I moved closer. I breathed in, she breathed out. I raised her hand, up came hers. She and me, we hid in heart. No one sees me. They see only the meek woman with years of nodding behind her. On moonless nights, on moonless nights, I placed words on girl tongues, fighting words. But enough about me, we ghosts have work to do. You there, open your gob. Let me coat your sweet little tongue with descent. Come, my beautiful descendant. We have a note to say. Okay, Enough about me, we ghosts have work to do. You there, open your gob. Let me coat your sweet little tongue with descent. Come, my beautiful descendant. We have a note to say. Thank you. This one is called words. Where do they go? Can you hear me now? Same was the case with Ravi. You couldn't hear my first one? Shall I say the first one again? Yes. Yes. I have heard now? Yes. Once upon a time, there was no time, no once, just he and me, a good man, a bad woman, naked and curious, just dying to know. But before that was a snake and a fruit, apple I think. I'm Eve, the world's first woman, fresh off the boat, chromosome XX. And Adam, too busy, tracking water, rubbing stones for fire. No TV, no Wi-Fi. We get bored, I'm disobedient. And then I died. I became a ghost, the world's first female ghost. Breasts, smoke rings, uterus, water vapor. I was just hanging around when I saw a man bash a woman with her own baby. I moved close, I moved closer. I breathed in, she breathed out. I raised her hand, up came hers. She, me, we hit him hard. No one sees me. They see only the meek woman with years of nodding behind her. On moonless nights, I paste words on girl tongues, fighting words. But enough about me, we ghosts have work to do. You there, open your gob. Let me coat your sweet little tongue with descent. Come, my beautiful descendant, we have a no to say. Thank you. Where do they go? Words no one wants, no one uses anymore. When fathers die and mothers don't remember. All the love words and forever words where the mouth moves on to other words, other people. A thousand secrets, a thousand secrets make the body a bone. But the arrow shot from its mouth is always a word. Lies men tell women to get them into bed. Lies women tell the men they cheat. Old yellowing letters at the bottom of a trunk. Fifty pound weakling words that get sand kicked on their face. Words totally reversible, I do, because no one does, not for long. Words that jump from behind a sofa screaming, surprise! And words that jam your hands on the wheel long after the lights turn green. And words you hear between your legs. Words prelingual, virgins on wedding nights, lamps after genies leave, a finger drawing in the vapor of a window pane, like a prayer prayed to listening gods, an old man holding his wife's hand in dementia, the sound of nothing to say like one mouth kissing, 
small talk, big talk, dirty talk, pillow talk, baby talk, sleep talk, bilateral talks. We have ways to make you talk. We need to talk. Hello? Your voice is breaking. Did I just see what I just said? I don't know how to say this. I will say this just once. is isn't something I said. Don't say it. Don't say it. Say something. Say anything. You don't talk to me anymore. No one talks to me that way. No. Thanks.
In my family, there was an um, anti-national who was taken away one day from uh, his family. And I remember at that point looking at his eight-year-old son's face. Uh, it was the face of a boy that uh, did not understand what was going on. And this is for him. They took Papa away in a car. They took Papa away in the car. They took him at four in the morning. They've taken him somewhere far where the words don't rhyme. Because everything gets stuck in my throat. And I want to cry, but I can't. Nani does all the crying. Ma doesn't cry. She pulls her lips into her face and goes to court every day. I don't ask to go with her. I didn't ask. Because I asked Nani once, why did they take Papa? And she said, do you want to kill me, beta? I don't want to kill Nani. I only want to know where Papa is. Left side auntie said, good children don't ask questions. Right side auntie said, did you think he was going to change the world? So I don't ask questions. And I swallow hard. And I wait for the time the words will rhyme again. Um, this is a slightly uh, longer poem and I think I wanted to read it because it was a little about, um, about the way we are, all of us. It's called Incident at Chira Bazaar and it is based on something that actually happened to me and a friend of mine uh, when we were walking together through Chira Bazaar. We walked along, we walked along the road running river but the current was too strong. All around there were people like us, nice people whose niceness flashed at us, like dark dorsal fins rising out of the foam. A creek appeared, sluggish backwater, that promised the sedation of tea. We found it skewered to a wall by faith and lamp black. Across from it there was a saint and a shrine and a bench. You opened your packet of farsan. I groped in my bag of conversation. But it was the drunkard who found names for us, Devi and Raju. He had had too much today, Raju, and he knew it. Lost his bag, his slippers, his foothold in the river. He has a room, baby. He has a room and four children, Raju. If I meet him tomorrow, he'll show me. Only today, Raju. Today is different. He is not after my wife, Raju. He has his own. Hey, baby, hey, I'm not after you. His wife rises. The community of the Chillam is hospitable, laid back and willing to pass it twice more. They are slow but they know what they are about. There are uncertain hierarchies here on the margin. The community of the Chillam is hospitable. They rise to prove it. They welcome us by slapping the man. Stand him up, slap him again, again. They are slow, chimney smoke on a winter morning but fast enough for him. One push will do it. One push does it. The man falls, strikes his head against the wall, frees frame for blood. Nothing. He lies there, dazed, waiting. The community coagulates again. Blue gauze veils descend on them. The man folds his body, abases his forehead, beats softly and wails. We finish our tea, abandon our farsan to well-fed puppies, tan and black. They are plump with trust and the stale bread from the first floor. We plunge towards the welcoming river, where people glide past, people like us, streamlined people. We avoid each other's eyes. And then I catch a glimpse of my knife in your rust-flecked armor, and I say, he started it. So I thought, uh, you know, we do like this, the three poets, and then now Sir Jodh uh, will read. Uh, well, you know, the idea was fusion, so there's extending the idea of fusion. He will be the translation of uh, Asha's poem, is it? Lots and things. 
and then after that, uh, a translation of Maya and Jirozi into Hindustani. Uh, and then we will do another round like this, as we put it. So, first poem is by Lal Singh Dil. Uh, he used to write. Who used to write? Is it okay? It's okay. Uh, this is a poem by Bal Singh Dil, uh, who used to write a lot on uh, farmers' uh, issues and uh, all the Punjabis are well aware of uh, his poetry. Uh, so this is Punjabi Jinu Khulli Kapta Kandini, a poem that doesn't have a rhyme. But uh, it has been translated by Gina, uh, who has given me the violin today. So, uh, so in, interestingly, uh, when we started talking about the Mushaira part of it, uh, she has translated it into a rhyme. So, uh, it is an example of, uh, you know, just translating the sensibilities of the poem. It is not word to word translation, but then uh, she has converted, uh, normally the English poetry doesn't, I mean, it does, classical poetry does uh, follow the principles of uh, rhyming. So, she's tried to do it in that manner. So, what I'll do is, I'll just read a few initial lines by Lal Singh Dil, so that you can relate, not the whole poem, but only the few initial lines, so that you can relate what has been translated in what way. So it's in Punjabi first. Fauji, Gadich Bethe Tosto, Daste Tohade Chere Kapade, Parti Hoke Jarehe Ho Aji, Jarehe Ho Dur Maithon Dorde, Chere Mere Di Harani Pamade, हाँ मेरे कोल गल है कुछ कैन हो पीना पिछे छड़ी जाने दोस्तों कह रहे ने नक्श नजरा अपने कि प्यो बेवस किधरे आज भी रोटियां दी पैड थे ले होंगे so this is how it goes this is the sentiment this one for this so now I am reading translation by Gina Singh uh, which is Hey friends, sitting in the army carriage, your faces and uniforms convey. You were recruited to leave the very same day. Going far from me and farther away, trying to read the shock on my face. Yes, I have something to say. Oh friends, leaving the flocks behind, your faces tell the story of helpless fathers, living lives unfair, unkind, of mothers scared beasts of burden, dying slowly of daily crime. If you are a farmer, then it must be so. You are leaving your ancestral fields after selling them off. Or maybe, as usual, a policeman so vain, scattered on road, wears of your elder brother again. You are going to save mills, are you? Mills where human men's meat is churned to butter and workers' hides are tanned, but for a pittance in lieu. How shall you, my friends, march? How shall you, my friends, march with backs straight like Rosewood Park, the bark the sides of which while chopping, mothers are rudely made to disembark. You are going to defend palaces, and you? Very palaces where during wars, profiteers gleefully every night waltz. You are going to defend borders, and you? These skirmishes are the lifeline of treaties new. Or maybe you are going somewhere, my friends, unaware, to places where shining bayonets are raised on hungry masses because they are a, th they are a threat. 
their straw huts are set on fire, heaping on earth the rich man's ire. But where every village set aflame turns into many earths not to be tamed, <coughs> where not only dense jungles, but even delicate tea leaves turn into deadly weapons, you are going, but you do not know. So, uh, translation of Maya Angelou's uh, poem, it's a very uh, well-known poem, phenomenon, moment, by Maya Angelou. So here also I would just read the first few lines in English to give you a sense of where it is going, and then I will read the whole uh, Hindustani translation of it. Pretty women wonder where my secret lies. I'm not cute or built to suit a fashion model size. But when I start to tell them, they think I'm telling lies. I say it is in the reach of my arms, the span of my hips, the stride of my step, the curl of my lips. I'm a woman, phenomenally. Phenomenal woman. That's me. Wow. So now the translation part. लाजवाब औरत नाज़मी सब हैरान हैं कि आखिर क्या है राज़े हुस्न मेरा ना मैं चुई हुई ना ही नाज़मीनों से तराशा हुआ बदन में पर जब मैं बताती हूँ उनको वो समझते हैं ये महज है बहन मेरा मैं बताती हूँ कि ये मेरी बाहों के पसार में मेरे कुलों की मेहराब में है मेरे कदमों के इस तराब में है मेरे लबों की लर्जिश में है औरत हूँ मैं कृष्णमाय कुदरत हूँ मैं लाजवाब औरत हाँ वो मैं ही जब भी होता है मेरा महफिल में आना लेकर अपना अंदाज मस्त आना रूबरू मर्दों के शाना बशाना पहले बस अपने कदमों पे होते हैं या फिर घुटनों पे होते हैं भवरों की मानंद मेरे इर्द गिर्द तवाफ करते हैं तवाफ पर करना भवरों की मानंद मेरे इर्द गिर्द तवाफ करते हैं मैं बताती हूँ ये मेरी आंखों की दहक है ये मेरी मुस्कुराहट की चमक है मेरी कमर की लचक है मेरे कदमों की मचक है औरत हूँ मैं करिश्मा है कुदरत हूँ मैं लाजवाब औरत हाँ वो मही मर्द अक्सर ये सोचते हैं कि मुझ में क्या नजर आता है उन्हें सब खो जाते हैं मगर छू नहीं पाते हैं मेरे राजे रूहे बातिन को बावजूद बताने के भी बजाहिर नहीं होता उन पर मेरा ये राज नाजर नहीं होता मैं बताती हूँ कि ये मेरी पीठ की कमान में है मेरी मुस्कुराहट की ताब में है मेरी छातियों के उफान में है मेरी अदाओ मेरे अंदाज में है औरत हूँ करिश्मा कुदरत हूँ मैं लाजवाब औरत हाँ वो मैं ही अब तक आप जान चुके हैं कि क्यों मेरा सर निगू नहीं क्यों मैं नाला कर बेसकू नहीं मुझे बोलना नहीं पड़ता बुलंद आवाज से जब तुम देखो मुझे पास से गुजरते हुए तो तुम्हारे सर बेनियाज उठे नाज से मैं बताती हूँ कि ये मेरी एड़ियों की चटक में है मेरी जुल्फ की लाम लटक में है मेरे हाथों की लकीरों में है मेरे शौक की ताबीरों में है क्योंकि औरत हूँ मैं करिश्मा कुदरत हूँ मैं लाजवाब औरत हाँ वो मैं ही
written another love poem, Making Waves. Across the wild bay, ancient cities are calling, resounding with history, men and metal, armor, ships. If we have turned that way, stepping on a stone bridge, another poem might have been written with our names inscribed on the old walls of moon and stars. Domes and minarets, terracotta, a flowering almond in the garden we left behind, with fountains gushing water out of stone lips, feeding calla lilies. And if I live in the mountains, the days are the same, breathing the slow mist, slow arrangement of possibilities. The river imagines it will meet the sea. That piece of mountain, drops of water from a stream, beating in our hearts, floating in our veins, pray it is buoyant. Oh. And this one is floating island. Is he has silence? Excuse me. Hello. This is me going away, floating island. The sloping muddle the deep into the sea green, navigating on a heartbeat. The lilies are shooting up like swordfish, and the woman is laughing, laughing. As bread exits a body, you enter my room. I don't turn around, but I see the length of your eyelash, your palm out to catch me like a raindrop. Your mouth in my hair, my hair in your mouth. I have licked my hair to taste what you taste. Your tongue tastes of tempests. I look at you, you're looking right back. And the silence, with the silence of not a word from me, not a word from me. If death took me now, if death took me now, I would know not. She had often heard people say FO, but never really studied how someone actually fucked off. So undocumented and little known, this act of fucking off. She relied on intuition and gut feeling to go with the flow of FO. <laughs> wants to know why I have no laptop and no mobile phone and no phone calls that require me to stand by the window in a dressing gown, talking animatedly to Bill and Bob and Nihar and Emma. <laughs> Room 1654 Hotel Ground Plaza. This is my love poem for you. <laughs> Room, you are larger than my home in Bombay. Room, you have 24 hours running water. I wake up sometimes to dabble my fingers in fresh flowing streams. Room, you offer me a view of the city spread out like a gold souk. 
room, you have four paintings, two in the toilet. And I would study these paintings when I am on the pot. But one of them is behind my head. Room, you cost 1950 dirhams a day, not inclusive of 10% municipal tax and 10% service tax. And that's more than I have ever earned for my poetry. Room, I can barely sleep here because I can't bear to think that I may quite waste one dirham of that rental. Room, your lights. There's one near my bed, near my head, which turns itself off. If I just brush my fingers past it, I touch it, I touch it, I touch it again. I touch it on, off, on, off. Room, you've made me a pervert. Room, your air. It's cool, it's clean, air as it should be. I have a cold now and a running nose. My system is not used to this. Room, your bed, should you be so yielding? Have you no self-respect room? Come, let me go. Room of four pillows, room of a minibar emptied before my arrival because I have no credit card. Room filled with chocolate bars and pistachio nuts that I would be a fool to eat at those prices. Room, I'm going to bed now. You should sleep too. Stop looking at me, room. And please, this transparent door, this picture window to the shower. Room, I'd like to have some privacy, please. Room, room, keep this between us. But I'm going to take the soap, the shampoo, the conditioner, the charger, the shower cap, the pencil, the pen, the envelopes, the writing pad, the tea bags, the coffee powder, the extra sugar, the soft slippers, and one big fat white virginal towel. <laughs>
you, do, you, you can just try. Okay, that's the thing I thought. And so I started translating and then I started translating Marathi poetry from the 13th century and I thought I was going to fail but this one, this Muktabai poem, I think I got dead on. Okay. So it is, first came joy and on the morrow, hard on her heels, a visit from sorrow. Just as we settled down to grieving, joy announced that she was leaving. Joy and sorrow, what's the difference? Both are sisters, born of ignorance. Muktai tells Tsangya, self born the soul, standing like a banyan, aloof and whole. So, thank you, everyone. Uh, and next time uh, there will be some results I hope from in English. So thank you all. And uh, thank you. Yeah. So, Hanji. And buy our books. <laughs> Should we come to ਸਰ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਦਾ ਕਾਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਕੀ ਨਗਰੀ ਗੁਰੂਆਂ ਦੀ ਵਸਾਈ ਹੋਈ ਇਹ ਨਗਰੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਸੋਨੀ ਸਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਅਸਤਾਨੀ ਸਦੀ ਦੇ ਸ਼ੁਰੂਆਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਸਣੀ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋਈ ਬਰਤਾਨਵੀ ਹਕੂਮਤ ਦੇ ਦਿਨ ਅਮਸਰ ਜਾਬ ਦੇ ਕਿਸਨ ਸ਼ਰਮ ਚੁੱਕ ਸੀ ਕਿਆ ਨਾ ਮੈਂ ਕਰ ਕੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਸੁਭਾ ਜੇ ਕੋਈ ਰਾਜ ਦੇ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਆਤਮ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਵਪਾਰੀ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਪ੍ਰਸਿੱਧ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਅਮਸਰ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਅਮਸਰ ਦੇ ਮਾਡਲ ਤੇ ਅਸਵਲ ਅਰਵਸੇ ਨਿਗਾ ਮਾਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਤੇ ਅਮਸਰ ਦੇ ਦੋ ਪੱਖ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਮਹੱਤਵਪੂਰਨ ਹੈ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਇੱਥੇ ਜੋ ਹਿੰਦੁਸਤਾਨ ਦੀ ਆਜ਼ਾਦੀ ਦੇ ਸੰਘਰਸ਼ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਆਪਣਾ ਯੋਗਦਾਨ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਉਹ ਪੱਖ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਦੂਸਰਾ ਲਗਭਗ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਜੁੜਿਆ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਬੜੀ ਐ ਕਿਹਾ ਜਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਥੋਂ ਦੇ ਸਮਾਜ ਨਾਲ ਪਿਆਰ ਦੇ ਸਮਾਜ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕੋਈ ਤਰਜਮਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਪਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਇਥੋਂ ਸਾਥੀ ਪੱਖ ਆਮ ਸਾਥੀ ਮੀਡੀਅਮ ਕੰਪੋਨੈਂਟ ਦੇ ਪਪੂਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਉਹਦੀ ਪਪੂਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਪਪੂਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਮੀਡੀਅਮ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਕੋਈ ਐ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕਨੇ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਜਾਂ ਸਿੱਖ ਜਾਂ ਮੁਸਲਮਾਨ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਮੀਡੀਅਮ ਪਪੂਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੇ ਬਾਕੀ ਦੂਸਰੇ ਸ਼ਹਿਰਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਔਰ ਅਮਰਿਤਸਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਗੱਲ ਬੜੀ ਸਾਫ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅਮਰਿਤਸਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਨਾ ਜੇ ਇਹ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਮਹੱਤਵਪੂਰਨ ਸਥਾਨ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇੱਥੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇਸਲਾਮਿਕ ਤਹਿਜੀਬ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਇੱਥੇ ਖੁੱਲੇ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਫਲੀ ਫਲੀ ਹੈ 
ਲਾਹੌਰੋਂ ਨੂੰ ਗੰਦੇ ਸਨ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਲੋਕ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਸਨ ਉਥੋਂ ਦੀ ਸ਼ੋਰ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀ ਬੜੀ ਮਸ਼ਹੂਰ ਸੀ ਉੱਥੇ ਹੋਰ ਵੀ ਮੰਡੀਆਂ ਬੜੀਆਂ ਸਨ ਕਸ਼ਮੀਰ ਤੋਂ ਵੀ ਆਣਾ ਤੇ ਬਾਕੀ ਪਾਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਤੇ ਲੋਕ ਉੱਥੇ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਸਨ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਔਰ ਸ਼ੋਰ ਦੀ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀ ਦੇ ਟੇਮ ਤੇ ਦੇ ਉਹ ਕਸ਼ਮੀਰ ਤੋਂ ਸਰਮਾਨ ਕੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਬਸੇ ਸੈਟਲ ਹੋ ਸਨ ਜਿਆਦਾ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦਾ ਸਾਰੇ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਿੰਦੂਆਂ ਔਰ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਇਕਨੋਮੀ ਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਸੀ ਜ਼ਮੀਨ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਕਿਸਾਨ ਜਾਂ ਜਿਮੀਦਾਰ ਮੁਸਲਮਾਨ ਸਨ ਜਿਆਦਾ ਤਰ ਮੁਸਲਮਾਨ ਕੋਰਸ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਅਮਰਸਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਔਰ ਤੋਂ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਜਨ ਸਿੱਖ ਵਰ ਸਟਰੋਂਗਰ ਮੋਨਟੈਰੀ ਮਗਰ ਉਥੋਂ ਦੀ ਮੁਸਲਮਾਨ ਕਾਰੋਬਾਰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਰਦੇ ਸਨ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਹਿੰਦੁਸਤਾਨ ਦੇ ਆਜ਼ਾਦੀ ਤਹਿਰੀਕ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਅਮਰਸਰ ਦੇ ਵੀਵੀ ਸਦੇ ਇਤਿਹਾਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੋ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਬੜੀਆਂ ਮਹੱਤਵਪੂਰਨ ਹੈ ਇੱਕ ਇੱਥੇ ਫਰਵਰੀ 1919 ਤੋਂ ਰੋਲਟ ਐਕਟ ਦੇ ਖਿਲਾਫ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸੰਘਰਸ਼ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋਇਆ ਸੀ ਜਿਹਦੀ ਕਲਮੀਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਅਪ੍ਰੈਲ 1919 ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋਈ ਤੇ ਜਿਸ ਦੇ ਲਗਭਗ ਅਖੀਰ ਤੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਅੰਗਰੇਜ਼ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਦੁਆਰਾ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਡਾ ਜ਼ੁਲਮ ਹਿੰਦੁਸਤਾਨ ਨੂੰ ਕਦੇ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਮਹੱਤਵਪੂਰਨ ਇਤਿਹਾਸਿਕ ਘਟਨਾ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਹਿੰਦੁਸਤਾਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਮਰਸਰ ਜਾਣਿਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਦੀ ਕਿ ਇਵਨ ਜਸ ਬਾਡੀ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਨ ਕਿ ਉਸ ਦੀ ਮੂਰਤੀ ਦਾ ਅੰਦਰ ਗਾਂਧੀ ਦੇ ਆਉਣ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਉਹਨੇ ਸੋਨੀ ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਾਇਆ ਸੀ ਬੰਦਾ ਗਾਂਧੀ ਨੇ ਹਰੇ ਪੌਲ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਸੀ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਲੋਕ ਮੀਟਿੰਗ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਸੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਉਹ ਮੀਟਿੰਗ ਦੀ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਕੋਲ ਇੱਕ ਵੱਡੀ ਗੱਲ ਸੀ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੋ ਸਲੋਗਨ ਸੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਦੋ ਬੇਪਾਰਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਸੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਮਹਾਤਮਾ ਗਾਂਧੀ ਦੀ ਹੈ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਮੁਸਲਮਾਨ ਦਾ ਇਹ ਇੱਕ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਦਾ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਮੁਸਲਮਾਨ ਦਾ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਕਿ ਸਿੰਬੋਲਿਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਕਰ ਕੇ ਸੀ ਮਤਲਬ ਦਿਖਾਉਣ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਸਾਡੇ ਉਸ ਸਾਡੇ ਕਲਚਰ ਦਾ ਉਸ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮੇਨ ਜੋਨ ਵਾਲਾ ਕਲਚਰ ਸੀ ਦਾ ਉਹਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਬੈਸਟ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਜਿਸ ਵਕਤ ਪਾਰਟੀਸ਼ਨ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਵਕਤ ਲੋਕ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਵੇਕਲ ਦਾ ਰੈਗੂਲਰ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਦੀ ਥੀ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਉਹ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਗੱਲਿਆ ਤੇ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਮਾਡਲ ਕਰੋਸ ਕੀਤਾ ਜੋ ਨੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਇਹਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਨਾ ਜੋ ਨਾ ਮਾਡਲ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਅਲੀ ਬਿਜੀ ਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਜੋ ਦੇ ਥੇ ਇਹਦਾ ਵੀ ਮਾਰੀ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਉਹ ਜੋ ਕਿਸੀ ਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਸੋਚਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਨਾਮੇ ਤੇ ਸਭ ਦੀ ਸਰਤਨ ਦੀ ਥੀ ਅਜੇ ਤੱਕ ਦੋਨ ਨੇ ਸ਼ਿੰਦੀ ਸਾਰੇ ਅਫਰਾ ਤਾਂ ਫੇ ਜੀ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਦੈਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਸਿਰ ਬੋਲਣ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਮੈਂ ਨੇ ਤੇਰੇ ਗਰਾਉਂਡ ਤੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਪਰ ਸਾਰੇ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਨੇ ਮਿਲ ਕੇ ਮਜਾ ਚੋ ਪੈਸੇ ਇਕੱਠੇ ਕਰਕੇ ਤੇ ਬੋਲਣ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਹੀ ਰਿਕਤ ਬਣਾਏ ਔਰ ਕਿ ਆਪਣੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਉਹ ਬਾਅਦ ਫਿਰ ਬਾਅਦ ਵੀ ਇੱਕ ਹੋਰ ਕਰ ਲਿਆ ਔਰ ਬਾਅਦ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੂਜੀ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਤੇ ਅੰਜਲਨ ਤੱਕ ਨਾ ਭਾਗੋ ਕਰ ਵੀ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੈ ਕਲਾਕਾ ਤੋ ਸਾਰੇ ਇਹ ਫੰਡ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਕੇ ਕਰ ਕੋ ਲਗਾਏ ਗਏ ਹਨ ਤੋ ਟੇਕ ਕੇਅਰ ਆਫ ਦਿਸ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸ
ਇਹਨਾਂ ਆਜ਼ਾਦੀਆਰ ਹੱਥੋਂ ਬਰਬਾਦ ਹੋਣ ਹੋਏ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਹੋਏ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਆ ਕੁਝ ਉਮੀਦ ਆ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਮਿਲ ਜਾਏਗੀ ਉਹ ਮੋਏ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਮੋਏ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਆ ਜੁੰਦੀ ਜਾਨ ਹੀ ਮੌਤ ਦੇ ਮੂੰਹ ਅੰਦਰ ਜੁੰਦੀ ਜਾਨ ਹੀ ਮੌਤ ਦੇ ਮੂੰਹ ਅੰਦਰ ਢੋਏ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਢੋਏ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਆ ਜਾਗਣ ਵਾਲਿਆ ਰੱਜ ਕੇ ਲੁੱਟਿਆ ਏ ਜਾਗਣ ਵਾਲਿਆ ਰੱਜ ਕੇ ਲੁੱਟਿਆ ਏ ਸੋਏ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਸੋਏ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਲਾਲੀ ਅੱਖੀਆਂ ਦੀ ਲਾਲੀ ਅੱਖੀਆਂ ਦੀ ਪਈ ਦੱਸਦੀ ਏ ਰੋਏ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਰੋਏ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ that was a beautiful poem which you narrated and very uh, complimentary manish singh compliments to you we all watched your film and i think the three names that are there are they around then why don't you all come come up and show your faces aaiye toto I love to call you by this name. ਸਭ ਜਗਾ 